Hi everybody, Aaron here with another Microspot lesson for you, this time on how to get the most out of using layers in MacDraft. Layers are a very important tool for any CAD designer. In MacDraft Pro you have unlimited layers at your disposal to create the perfect floor plan, elevation, schematic or even illustration. You can access the layers palette via Window, Layers or click on the icon in the menu bar. Once the palette is opened you will see that you currently have one layer available. You can add a layer by clicking the plus button and remove layers by selecting the layer and pressing the minus button. You can also merge selected layers together by holding the shift key and selecting multiple layers together and then hitting the merge button. You can also rename a layer by selecting it and then going to the settings icon and clicking rename. You can also change the scale of a particular layer. Here we have a floor plan that was drawn at quarter inch equals a foot. At the moment the page is roughly 1700 inches by 550 inches which is obviously a lot bigger than what we intend to print on. So what we can do is add a new layer at 1 to 1 for our frame which shows the true custom paper size of 34 by 11 inches. Let's take a real look into why layers are so useful in MacDraft. Let's look closer at this document's layer palette. Here you can change which layers are visible and which are hidden. What we want to show our customer is the existing floor plan, which is currently active, and the proposed floor plan, which is currently hidden. With a single click of the mouse to activate the proposed layer, I can do that. Layers are a very, very powerful tool in MacDraft, and now you have a great idea on how to get started with them. Have a go yourself and I'll catch you again soon in the next Microspot lesson.